Hello YouTube. This is Fiber Biscuit back finally doing another video after a long hiatus. A lot of crazy stuff happening in life. A couple years ago, I had a kid. He's now two and a half. He's awesome. Um, the joy of my life. I, I absolutely love that kid. Uh, couldn't ask for a better, better little boy. I'm a stay-at-home dad with him. Go to work at nights. So a lot of things have suffered. When the weekend comes along, just kind of want to hang out with the family. So again, YouTube was kind of put on the back burner for a while. But I do still look at the videos. I love everybody's great videos. And this video, the return video, is for Hero Hunter 81's contest. Um, one of my absolute favorite YouTubers. Love his collection. A lot of great books. If you haven't heard of Hero Hunter 81, go check him out. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Uh, beautiful books. He and I share the same taste in comics, which I'm glad he doesn't live near me because if we went to the same conventions, I'm sure he'd be stealing all my books. So, um, But again, Clint, awesome YouTuber, one of the best. Uh, love your videos. And he asked for the contest if you could share some of your keys, high dollar books, and um, I will do just that. I do have more in my collection. I didn't have a lot of time to get the stuff organized and get out, but um, I do have some goodies in here. This is the second attempt of this video also because I ran out of uh, space on the memory card. So I'm going to try this once again. I'm going to have to just talk fast and get through it pretty quick. So let's see what happens, okay? Uh, again, Hero 181's contest. Great YouTuber. Check him out. Going to start out with Gambit, number one. This is usually black. This is the gold variant. Uh, not an extreme high dollar book, but something if you come across, you should definitely want to pick up. A couple series, in my opinion, that are incredibly, incredibly underrated as far as bang for your buck and first appearances and stuff like that. I have a few examples that I picked up at a convention yesterday. The series are Marvel Team Up and Marvel 2-in-1. Uh, some incredible deals to be had with these books. Um, so I, the ones I bought yesterday, I'm going to show you and just a few examples of what I picked up and the first appearances at a convention. And usually anytime you get to a convention, you'll be able to find these books somewhere. Going to start out with Marvel Team Up number 95. This is the first appearance of Mockingbird. Definitely a book who's, that's been heating up thanks to TV, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I actually grabbed two of them yesterday at the convention. Nice looking copies. This is Marvel Team Up number 65. This is the first appearance of Arcade. Uh, poor villain who's never beaten anybody. But it's the first appearance of Arcade and it's the first U.S. appearance of Captain Britain. Another good book to pick up if you come across it. I'll, I'll let you know what I paid for all these books at the end. Here's Marvel Team Up number 63. This is the first appearance of Zombie Adam Warlock. Marvel Team Up number 55. This is the first appearance of The Gardener. Marvel 2 in 1 number 52. First appearance of Crossfire. Really good book to pick up if you come across. I don't know if you can see that when I paid for it, but sticker's still on that one. Whopping two bucks for the first appearance of Crossfire. One of my favorite books in these two runs. Love this cover. Absolutely love this cover. Marvel 2 in 1, number 61. And this is the first appearance of her, Kismet, uh, who was originally in Paragon, I believe. Went into her cocoon. As you can see in the background here, the cocoon. She emerges and names herself her because she is the female incarnation of Adam Warlock or him. So, um, incredible book to grab. Again, I paid two dollars for this book. Beautiful cover. First appearance of her, Kismet. And for all these books, right here, I paid a whopping fifteen dollars. So, some titles to you know, educate yourself on some great deals to be had in those runs. Love those runs. Moving on to Avengers number 87. This is the origin of the Black Panther. I got these at the convention yesterday and I was able to pick up two of those. So I was happy with that. 
one of my uh, personal feelings on this book is that Kang is going to have to join the Marvel Universe sometime in the movies or TV. He's just that kind of villain. Um, this is Avengers number 8, first appearance of Kang. And I, I just feel he's going to make an appearance pretty soon. So that's why I wanted to put this book in here. But it's the first appearance of Kang. Great book. Moving on to the Avengers, number 71. This is the first appearance of the Invaders. Uh, really nice cover. Sorry if I'm going fast. Again, I, I ran out of memory space last time, so I'm going to try to get through this so I can uh, show everything I want to. Here's Incredible Hulk Annual number 5. And if anybody doesn't know, this is the second appearance of Groot. If you can't afford his first appearance, or if you can't find him, like myself, I'm having a hard time finding him. Um, pick up the second appearance. And uh, Incredible Hulk, number five. Got this for a really good price. Not the best condition. Probably VG. But, again, I paid five bucks for it. I got this yesterday at the convention, so I was happy with that. Another convention pickup yesterday, Incredible Hulk, number 271. This is actually my second copy of this. Um, I know the guy who was selling it, really nice copy. Uh, a couple stains right here and right here. But he knocked it down because I pointed him out, and he knocked it down to 25 bucks from 35 bucks. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys can be able to see this, but there's a sticker still on it. But, yeah. Incredible Hulk 271, first appearance of Rocket Raccoon. And Marvel Super Heroes, number 18. Of course, Rocket Raccoon and Groot and everybody else leads to the first appearance of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Got this at a convention a year, year and a half ago at a local one. He had it at 20 bucks. I talked him down to 15 because I just, um, that way. And I had to have more money to spend on comics. So, yeah. I got this for an incredible price when it was really, really hot, and I, I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> Moving on to Action Comics, number 340. Don't collect a lot of DC outside of the bronze stuff, like New Gods 1 and um, Forever People, stuff like that. Uh, but this book, if I see it, I pick it up. It's hard to find in the wild. It's unusually popular, and it's the first appearance of The Parasite. The green underwear clad parasite. And he, he's an incredible Superman villain. Just an incredible book. Love this cover. Um, and if I come across it, I'll definitely pick it up. Found this at a local comic book shop. This is DC Superstars Presents number 17. And this is the first appearance of the Huntress. So definitely pick this up if you come across it. Another one of my favorite books in the collection. This is The Men in Black. That's right, The Men in Black movie was based on a comic book. And this is the comic that it was based on. This is the original. It was produced, published by Air Cell. This is number one from 1990. The movie, I believe, came out in 97. Um, Air Cell was bought by Malibu, I believe, who was then bought by Marvel. And each one of those publishers did a series, so make sure you get the first series. Uh, the 1990s version. Very tough book to find in the wild. Over the last couple years, I've actually found two of them. This is the second one, and love the book. Love the cover. But yeah, first appearance of Men in Black. Keep your eyes open. Astonishing Tales. I pulled out most of my copies of Astonishing Tales. Um, there's one. There's two. There's a, another one. This one I purchased a couple weeks ago month ago and I have this on here because I want to let everybody know when I pick this up if you see right here in the corner hopefully that comes through there's a little star a little stamp over in the price and that means it was purchased on an army base more than likely that's a base stamp saying that you paid for it and any books published in you know early 70s through the you know early 80s might have a Mark Jewelers insert, and that's a telltale sign to check if it has a Mark Jewelers insert. Picked it up, really good price. I noticed the stamp. You can tilt the book down, and sure enough, you can see a thin line of blue. There is a Mark Jewelers insert in here. I got it home, opened it up, still attached. Beautiful book. Um, it's probably in VF, 
minus fine plus condition. I got it for 15 bucks with a Mark Jewelers insert. First appearance of Deadlock. Definitely happy to pick that up. This is GI Combat number 68. This is the first prototype of Sergeant Rock. Uh, a lot of talk back and forth where his first appearance is, but this is the prototype issue, what they consider, you know, the first whatever. I uh, went to an auction, bought a box lot, got it nice and cheap. I think I bought 30, 40 books for about 50 bucks. This was in it. This is GI Combat number 87, and this is the first appearance of Haunted Tank. Incredibly happy to own this book. Very tough book to get your hands on. So when I saw this book, I was, needless to say, pretty happy. Another book to keep your eye out for, Hawkman number four. This is the first appearance of Zantana. Very tough book to find. Um, getting very tough to buy. Getting pretty expensive. Even the beat up copies are, are getting outrageous. And this one's in actually pretty good shape. So glad to grab that one. This one I just added because I love it. Keep your eye out for this book. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. This is Rifleman number 10. Uh, this is a sexual cover. Um, a lot of people go after this book just because of the implied um, cover. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely glad to find this book. Makes me laugh every time I see it. But again, Rifleman number 10. Uh, Recent big pickup. This is my Spider-Man number two. I bought the house, had to sell some of my keys. I sold my three copies of X-Men 94. Had to sell my copy of Spider-Man 1, which pains me to do, but I will get them back. Um, but I did pick this up. This is a Spider-Man number two. First appearance of the Vulture. Uh, I'm gonna burn through some CGC comics for you, Clint, real quick. Here's a Spider-Man number one, CGC 9.2. This is the Platinum Edition. Got a really good price on this at a shop on Free Comic Book Day. Here's the Incredible Hulk 102, CGC 8.5. Continued from Tales of the Sonic 101, of course. Some quick eye candy, Hulk 181, CGC 6.5. First appearance of Wolverine, of course. Avengers. Number one, CGC 3.5, Origin, first appearance of the Avengers. One of my favorite books, Love Sandman, Amazing Spider-Man, number four, first appearance of the Sandman, CGC 6.5. I don't know if I've shown this book before, but added this to the collection, Amazing Spider-Man 14, first appearance of the Green Goblin, CGC 5.5. It's also the first meeting of the Hulk and Spider-Man. Great book to own. Really happy to have that one. Amazing Spider-Man, number 129. Here's my first Punisher book. CGC 8.5. Another beautiful looking book. Love it. And of course, what would a video of mine be without at least one of these? This is my one of my Amazing Spider-Man number 300s. Love this book. It's a kryptonite book. And it's one of those books that if I see it, I usually will have to buy it. Unfortunately, now everything is getting so expensive with the movie and um, talk of the movies that this book is getting out of sight. But I was able to get quite a few of them before the curve hit. There's a nice newsstand. There's another one. Here's a fourth one. And here's a fifth one. Another newsstand. A little beat up. But uh, I might do a video later if anybody wants to see it on some kryptonite or what I call kryptonite books, just explaining what it is and showing some of mine. Um, I also have CGC 9.6 and then, of course, a CGC 9.8. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's one of my favorite issues, becoming incredibly hard to get getting really expensive but uh, I'll do a kryptonite video uh, I'll, I'll explain but as you can see it's one of my favorites my favorite key so there it is Clint again congrats on all those subs keep those great videos coming and 
here's the hope, the start of many, many videos to come. Fiber Biscuit, out.